hi, hi men. Full plate armour. It's an incredibly hot day outside. We're going to be doing, uh, there's, a, there's a strong breeze, so I think I'm going to be okay. But I thought it was interesting just to experience uh, wearing the armour in incredible heat. I'm already sweating heavily. I've got to put the helmet on yet and get the horse ready. So uh, let's see how it goes. Oh. Right. Let's, uh, let's get the warlord tapped up and then get on. This is already causing me quite a lot of body stress, so we will see. Right. We'll be very, very careful with warlord. There's a lot of wind. We will make sure he is looked after. And if there's any signs of stress from him, I will get off. It is, it's very hot. And, uh, oh, it's not sorted. I'm going to the mountain block now. This is where it's going to get even hotter. I've got to put my helmet on. Right. Right. Let's uh, get on him. Come on, walk on. Good lad. Good boy. You just gotta. You just gotta carry me, all right? I'm gonna wear this stuff. Good boy. Come on. Good lad. Come on. what it's like outside. It's very hot, but the wind actually is helping. So um, actually indoors when I was getting armed up was worse than it is here. It's just very restrictive and I am sweating buckets. So I'm going to need to hydrate quite rapidly. I don't think Warlord's in any stress at all. He's carrying a bit more than he normally would, but uh, he seems fine. No sign of heavy breathing or anything like that. I'm rolling. So I'm rolling. Action! Warlord 
seems to be more than okay, but uh, I am beginning to overheat now quite dramatically. So do a little bit more and then I'm gonna have to stop. He's okay, he's actually raring to go, which is lovely to see. I am beginning to feel the beginnings of heat exhaustion. So we'll do a little bit more and then I'm gonna get off and get a cold drink. Thank you. Uh, thing you can do when you've uh, finished riding a horse is get off its back. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk in this armor. I'm that tired. I'm gonna ride back down there, get off him, make sure he's rested. So, uh, thank you, bye. is an example of why heat exhaustion probably killed as many knights on the battlefield in medieval times as did enemy action. I could understand, I've been out there for half an hour, haven't been fighting, but I have been riding around quite energetically and uh, I am extremely tired and I could imagine another hour of that or so and I'd probably be close to dangerously exhausted, if not quite frankly. Dying. So, wearing armour in the heat is very, very difficult. I wouldn't recommend it. Come on then, let's get you sorted out. Good lad. I'm uh, pretty much fully recovered from that experience of wearing armour in the quite severe heat and actually doing quite a lot. Um, I was charging up and down with Warlord. Warlord's actually fine, he was hardly even sweating. But me, encased in my armour, riding him, uh, for those of you that haven't recognised it, Warlord's actually quite difficult to ride. He does charge around quite a lot, he's very physical. And when you're riding, you have to use your body all the time. And when you're in armour, that effort to balance, to move the horse around, takes extra uh, energy from you. And when you are heating up like that, the heat can't leave, so the sweat is soaking into your arming garments, which are underneath the armor, and it's not cooling you down. So I noticed towards the end of that, I was starting to shake, my thinking was going slightly cloudy, and I was feeling quite weak. And that was in, in about half an hour of reasonably strenuous activity in the sun. How people actually fought in battle in armour uh, without getting severe effects of heat exhaustion, I don't know. I guess they got severe effects of heat exhaustion. I guess they got badly injured, they had to maybe take rests, soak themselves in water, um, and water management must have been a huge thing for armies, medieval armies. There are plenty of battles fought in the heat of the summer, let alone when you go to places like the Middle East and um, people were fighting in the desert. I suppose you got used to it up to a point. I would imagine for some warriors in the medieval period, they actually did die of heat exhaustion. It's terrible to think that in the battle, you didn't get injured by the enemy, you got killed by the circumstances. But I guess disease, heat, lack of water, all of them took as big a toll on the warriors as did enemy action. It's very sad in a way, but um, just actually using armor like that for half an hour in the English, particularly hot sun, was quite difficult. I'm fully recovered, as I said, but makes you think. Mm -hmm. 